Today, we're going to talk about how to improve your worship team's rehearsal. Let's go. What's going on, fam? My name is Michael, and I help worship leaders grow spiritually and practically so that they can lead worship more effectively. And today, we're going to talk about how we can improve our worship team rehearsals. But before we get started, I want to give you something. It's called my Effective Worship Leader Checklist. This checklist has 10 tips on it that can help you to lead worship more effectively and remind you of the things that you should be doing Every time you get up in front of the people to lead worship, you can get that for absolutely free right down here um, in the description below, or you can go to this website, michaeleagle.com slash worship leader checklist to get it absolutely free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can get notified anytime we post a new video, which is typically weekly. So let's jump right into the comments today, I'm going to give you three tips that you can use right now to help improve the way that you do your worship team rehearsals. And I'm going to release my favorite one at the end. So stay tuned so you can get that one. All right. The first thing that you need to do to improve your worship team rehearsals, and this is something that I struggled with, or I wouldn't say struggle with, but something that I didn't do for a long time, but I had to grow and mature and that is plan my rehearsals. You know, sometimes when you're talented, you can hear harmony, you can teach parts, you can play, you can do all of these different things. You just show up at a rehearsal and just fly by the seat of your pants just because you're talented, just because you're gifted. But what I found out is that actually hurts your team and it wastes so much time. When I started actually planning out my rehearsals, like what songs I actually want to go over, uh, how much time we're going to spend on this, how much time we're going to spend on that, and I began to follow the plan, I found that my team found it so much more, more effective, like they were more engaged, they learned more, they retained more. Um, we, we saw that there was less downtime, and every time, all the time that we had, was allocated to working, 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 and it just helped our team grow so much more. So I'm gonna tell you to plan, like have an actual plan. I'm gonna do warm ups first. I'm gonna do the Sunday songs second. I'm gonna go over the songs in our repertoire, like really, really, really plan. And if you need help to structure your worship rehearsals, you can go right here to this video. I'll leave that in the cards. It's how to structure. It gives you specific times and different details like that. You can go right there to that video. The second thing I'm gonna tell you to do to improve your worship team rehearsals is to teach. You have to teach, you have to actually take time and not just teach musically, but teach things spiritually. Like you want to go over certain Bible scriptures. You want to go over uh, uh, and teach your team how to be effective as worship team members. Like you want to tell them what a team member does, what a worship team character should be, like how they should present themselves outside of church. Like you need to teach and to pour into your worship team. When I begin to pour into my people, begin to teach them, them, begin to educate them, begin, begin to uh, uh, impart into them, I saw them grow by leaps and bounds. And then all of a sudden, I just saw our team shining. And then even the congregation started to notice like, man, there's something different happening with the worship team. And that came because we were planning our rehearsals and we were teaching. I mean, I'm telling you, Get some devotionals, get some scriptures, talk to your pastor about what he wants uh, uh, or she wants the worship team to know. I'm telling you, get into teaching. It's going to help improve your worship team. Now, before I get into my very last one, that's actually one of my favorites. I want to let you know that everything that I'm sharing with you today is coming directly from this new workshop that I'm hosting this month called Building 
strong worship teams. Everything that I'm teaching you, I'm going to be deep diving, doing a deep dive teaching at this workshop. The workshop is October 30th, and you can get access to this workshop by going to this website down in the description or just going here, right here, <laughs> michaelegoolcom slash team, and join us for that workshop. It's going to be an hour and a half of just teaching you how to build a solid and strong worship team. I want to see you there. And if you're watching this and saying, hey, Mike, October 30th has already passed. Don't. <laughs> it's all good. You can still click the link. You can still go to the website and get the replay and learn everything that you need to know to build your worship team. Now, this is the last thing. One of my favorite things, um, and I've been harping this and I've been teaching on this with my worship leaders, um, the ones that I've been mentoring, you must build relationships. That's what's going to strengthen your worship team rehearsals. If you have relationships with your team and your team members have relationships with each other, they'll begin to hold each other accountable and tell each other, hey, you need to be in rehearsal. Hey, hey you weren't paying attention in rehearsal. What's up with that? Like when there's a, gen uh, a genuine relationships built, People begin to pay attention more when they have a relationship with you, when they have a relationship with each other, they begin to be more invested in the team. So you need to take time to actually build rehearsals. Actually, one of the things that I've done is I've actually hosted a rehearsal and we didn't even rehearse. All we did was play games, eat, and have fun. Like we needed to talk. We need to engage each other. We needed to become more of a team of uh, uh, relationships on our team. So I'm telling you, if you can begin to build strong relationships, your worship rehearsals are going to be more effective. Now, if this video blessed you, go ahead and hit a like. Go ahead and subscribe so you can get all the notifications for when we post the next one. And don't forget, we're hosting a workshop this month called Building a Strong Worship Team. And you need to be there if you're leading a worship team, if you're a part of a worship team, you need to be a part of this workshop. Don't forget to get my free guide as well, Worship uh, Leader Checklist. It's got some tips on there that I'm guaranteed is going to help you to continue to lead worship more effectively. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.